Hi Taurus, this is your weekly love reading for the 21st to 27th of May 2019. And if this does not resonate with you, please check your moon, rising, Jupiter or Venus. Okay, and before we start, I have just changed the format a bit. We're going to do tarot later. First we do your oracle and see what's the advice from the spirits. Here you go, before we start we have a jumper. And then we'll do some tarot and then again do another set of oracles, okay? So two oracle advice for you, one at the beginning of the read and one at the end of the read. All right, my Taurians, and happy birthday to those Taurus who are uh, born in the last of the Taurian month. You know, very soon the sun is going to be on Gemini, so... Whoever had the birthdays in the end, happy birthday to you. Okay, Taurus, so let's see what is coming towards you. Spirits, please help me see what is happening with Taurus in their love. Let yourself receive, so it's time. Allow others to give you loving care. Receive without guilt or apologies. Maybe this is the time for you to receive. Let people do things for you. Whoever you have been doing things for, now for a change, let them give you. Just keep your arms open to receive. It could be the universe sending you somebody, okay? And waves of prosperity. Who else got it? I think Aries got it. So yeah, something good and abundant and exciting is coming towards you. Just be happy about it and wait till you receive it. And this is your time. You will be receiving it because... 21st, Venus is moving to Taurus. What a beautiful time. So this is your time to receive whatever you have been wishing for. So just be positive and allow others to do things for, it, for you. Just chill. Okay, Taurians? Okay, let's see. Your energy. Balancing. Two of Pentacles. All right. Should I hold on? Should I let them go? Should I focus on their work? Or it should be I reach out to them. What should I do? I'm so confused. I want success. The other person. Ten of Pentacles. They are no wonder you have the waves of prosperity towards you. So whoever is coming towards you is rich, is abundant. Okay, your energy, the star, okay, okay, so you've been wishing. Or it could be for some Taurians you've been healing, maybe from a past broken relationship you're healing, or you're wishing, you're wishing for such a person, a successful, rich, abundant, happy person in your life. If you've been single for long, then this is what you've been wishing. And if you are in a relationship, and uh, they are not there with you yet, they will be, okay? They will be. And uh, maybe they are focusing on their pentacles right now. The other person, nine of cups. Look at the other person. Happy, rich, and wish fulfillment. So it could be that this person traveled away from you to earn money, and now they're coming back with a lot of cash, baby. <laughs> Just kidding. So you could be this person's wish fulfillment. But uh, you they like you. Maybe they see you. Let's see the mutual energy. We'll know. Mutual energy. King of Swords. Okay. You both know. You both know that, you know, you both have the knowledge or you both are powerful in your own sense. And look at this, five of pentacles in reverse. So whatever loss, I tell you, this person must have traveled outside to earn some money, whatever they are coming out of it. And if you have been trying to juggle between career and money, you're also coming out of it. So it's like, for you, it's like a wish come true. For them, it's like wish fulfillment. It's, and now you both have the same knowledge, wisdom, and authority. Maybe you both have 
grown in life, you know, and that is why the waves of prosperity is there. Now it's like the rich meets the rich. So it's not, you know, the rich and poor story. It's like both are rich, both are well off. Okay. Underlying energy. Yeah. Five of cups. You miss each other. You miss each other. You miss them. They miss you. But they're away from you that I can see. And they're getting their wish fulfillment. You are away from them trying to balance your home, your work, your job, whatever you're doing. But you're wishing for them. Morning, noon and night, all you do is wish for them. Now, you could be connecting with a fellow earth sign or it could be a water sign. But uh, I see them coming towards you very soon. Uh, maybe uh, nine, so another three to four months. But they're going to reach out very fast, very, very fast. You know, in the next 13 days, 12 days, 12, 13 days, they're going to reach out to you and you will reach out to them in another uh, maybe 17, 18, 20 days. So whatever happens in the next one month, you're going to start communicating with each other if you haven't been able to. But I think it's about... Uh, it's somebody from your past coming towards you, Taurus. It's not new. Because you are missing each other and you are coming out of this uh, poverty or this loss that you both had. And you both are coming out of it. Okay? And you both want to come out of it. Now, this person has come into what they went out for. So, if they went out for money, earning, career, they have, their, they have achieved what they went out towards. You have been juggling your life and career both properly. And now your wishes are coming true because the star is here, Aquarian energy. So you could be connecting with, as I said, an earth sign with water in the chart or water sign with earth sign. But it, it looks like an, an earth sign, you know, it could be an earth sign. You could be connecting with a fellow Virgo. Taurus or Capricorn but what I see is that you both have this knowledge now you both have this wisdom now that you both you're ready you're ready now is the time to be with each other okay so let's see let's see more please show me more what is coming towards Taurus so now they're going to reach out they're going to show you some love because now they have the money. So maybe they're sending you some gifts. Or maybe they're trying to do something for you. Planning a vacation for you. Take it. Don't say no. Just take it. Enjoy it. Till it's there. And because there are waves of prosperity. I know you are, you are doing good too. But let them do it for you. It's not about money. They went to earn it. And they left you. So it could be your spouse too, okay? Maybe your spouse went out and now they're coming back. Your energy, the devil. Okay, so yeah, Taurus, somehow I feel you're connecting with a fellow earth sign. But you're a bit obsessed about this person. That's the reason you keep wishing for them. You're a bit obsessed. You just can't let go of the release this person, okay? You want them on nobody. It's like I want you or there can't be anybody. And the other person, nine of pentacles. I mean, this person is into a lot of money, baby. Ten of pentacles, nine of pentacles, nine of uh, cups. This person is doing good. Whatever he's gone or she's gone to do, she is really making it. She's happy. She's earning money. She's having her wishes fulfilled. So hence the ten of pentacles. So now they're coming towards you. Because they have their wish fulfillment, they have their money, so you will complete the picture of the happy family, okay? And mutual, the Knight of Pentacles, yeah, they're a bit slow, you're slow, they're slow. You're taking, you're very cautious with the King of Swords, you both are very cautious because you have had losses in the past. But now you're coming out of it, but that doesn't mean that, you know, you're a bit defensive, 
for the few. This person, maybe because they left you to pursue their career or money or run after whatever, and you were left out in the cold, but you wished for them, you were obsessed with them, and you always wished for them. You tried to juggle your life. You tried to settle your life. You tried to do things in your life, uh, you know, balance your career and everything. But you always, and you healed, of course, but you always wished for them. You always wished for them. Okay. And the other one, hangman. Okay. So you both have changed your perspectives. You both have changed your perspectives. And so you're very defensive. Now you've changed the way you both think. And, uh, you know, but it's just that you're defensive towards each other because they're scared that you might start, you know, fighting with them in their back when they reach out to you. Or you're scared that, you know, if they come, will they stay? Will they be yours? Will they really be with you, maybe that kind of concern is there. So you both are a bit carded, a bit defensive, but things are going to move. You both are going to take slow. Though you both will communicate, I feel you both will, have, will start communicating in the next 15, 20 days. But by the time they come towards you, it's going to be around four months from now. So if it's May, June, July, August, September. Okay. September, fall, okay? They could be connecting, they could be coming towards you between September, October, that's the time. They could be reaching out, they could be actually be with you. I feel that. I may be wrong, but for some Taurians, yes, they will start communicating, a bit defensive in their communication, but they'll definitely come towards you. Let's see, let's clarify with my cute little fire fires. They're cute, you know. They're small, they're cute. See, they fit in the palm. They're so cute. Okay, your energy, the nine of pentacles. Here you go. You're rich and abundant, alone, doing good. You're balancing your life. They are rich and abundant too. They have the nine of pentacles. You have the nine of pentacles. You both, as I said, you both have power. You both are equals now, okay? It's like two rich dudes, or two rich people coming together. It's like, okay, don't show me your money, right, honey? I am no less. But then let them, let them receive it. If they're giving it out to you, they're not showing off their money. They're doing it out of guilt, okay? So they're defensive. So they're doing things for you. Enjoy the prosperity that's coming towards you. What about them? The night of one. See, I told you they're going to rush in. They're going to rush and they're coming towards you. But by the time they wind up everything and be with you, by fall they will be with you. But they have all the passion. You have the passion. You've been obsessing about them. I won't be surprised if you have been fantasizing about them. And there comes your fantasy. With the knight of wands. Okay? A mutual. Two of swords. Yeah, that's the reason of being defensive. Should I? It's like king of swords. Then you have the two of swords. It's like, should I, should I not? What should I say? What should be my excuse? If this person says, sorry, how should I react? If, and with this person, it's like, what do I tell her? Or what do I tell him? Where was I? I mean, it has to be the, the reason has to be real logical because you are a fixed sign. You don't like changes, okay? So you don't like in and out energies, Okay. And the three of wands. So you both are waiting. You both are waiting very patiently for each other. And the underlying energy. Again, the two of pentacles. That's the underlying energy. Balance. This is you. You're waiting. You're waiting very patiently doing your work. Focusing on your career. Focusing on your money. Wishing for them. Trying to visualize them. Trying to heal from whatever past hurts. Whatever past loss you had, now you're doing good. You've settled. You, you're kind of on your feet now, but you still obsess over them. You want them, but you're a bit defensive. They are now, they are abundant too, and their wishes have been fulfilled, whatever they left you for. So now they are all hearts for you. They're coming towards you, but by the time they reach you, as I told you, 
could be end of summer or in fall. I have a feeling they're going to be here before Halloween or somewhere before Thanksgiving. They're going to be with you. Okay? So they are going to be a bit defensive. You are going to be a Though I see you both started communicating. You'll start communicating with each other in another 15, 20 days, maybe a month. You will start talking, but a bit defensive in your communication with each other. But you both have changed your perspective. You've changed the way you thought. They have changed the way they think. They, they used to think, okay? So let's see what advice do we have from our oracles. So things are looking up for you, Taurus. Whatever you've been waiting for, it's going to come. It's going to come. Just be a bit patient. This is the time for you to manifest. Just keep wishing because Venus is there in your house. Okay? So use the Venusian energy and keep wishing for them. Think of all the good things because good things are going to come your way. All right. And it could be that, as I said, you're connecting with a fellow one, a fellow earth sign. Okay, let's see. Oracles, please, two advice for my Taurians. Two advice for my Taurians. What should they do in the meanwhile? What should they do? Stick with it. So whatever you're doing, whatever balancing you're doing, balancing effectively your career, life and everything, just stick with it, okay? And let's see the other one. Just sing. Enjoy. Enjoy. Whatever you're doing, just enjoy. Don't, don't think about this person. Just release all your negativities. Enjoy it. Do some, you know, enjoy some songs and sing. Even if you're a bathroom singer, just sing, okay? It helps you release a lot of anxiety. Be happy and stick with your plan because this person is coming towards you. It'll take them some time. They're already on their way. But by the time they wind up everything, I see them going out for some work. Maybe they were in some work or whatever it is. Now they've changed the way they think about you and they're going to reach out. They're going to reach out. They're going to start talking to you very soon. But by the time they come to you after breaking, changing their perspective and stop being defensive. It's going to be fall, okay? All right, Taurus, so let me know what is happening in your love life, all right? So I'm on Facebook and Discord, and you can always email me if you have any questions. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and have a great time ahead, and I'll see you next week. Bye.